Hi everyone and welcome to the Wednesday shave to the midweek shave. How are your shaves doing and how are you doing? Yes, you sitting there or lying there or shaving there. Hope you've had a good week. Um, special thing today um, I am using. Um, well, I'll show you the razor first. This is the Merca 45, I think is known as. Uh, I call it the Merca Red and Black. It's a Bakelite razor, very light in weight. Yeah, that was a bit. Very light in weight. <laughs> very short handle, hollow. Um, it's a three-piece razor, non-adjustable. Um, has a brass thread, and I'm using while we're there the Gillette Seven O'clock Sharp Edge, being used once. Um, I can feel there's an overhang. I'll show you now. There is a slight overhang, and there it is. Uh, nice razor though, very nice razor. Uh, right, brush, very special brush this. It was, um, this brush was customised for me. Uh, one of my viewers, Mark Martin, thank you Mark, yet again, um, contacted a chap who's got a YouTube channel and I'll put a link to his channel he's a, does a lot of camping um, I'm not sure if he is a brush maker uh, whether he's made this as a one-off or he does make brushes I don't know but he's certainly done a good job on this one and that's it, it's a badger knot and it's you made out of you that wood uh, the handle and my name uh, lasered on it. Beautiful. Now, not only that, I have another YouTube channel um, which is older than this channel but nothing to do with shaving. It's uh, I do talking vlogs, um, I do a hot and spicy vlog which is uh, where I eat anything spicy on a Saturday night and I have a few drinks and I talk rubbish, a bit like here really, talk rubbish. <laughs> but without the without the drink and eating and that channel name is 007 Vauxhall and that's my other channel I'll put a link to that in the description and also H&S vlog the hot and spicy vlog which that channel is uh, sort of famous for every Saturday that channel by the way uh, Mrs H <laughs> it's not as prim and proper as this channel I let my hair down a bit in that one. Anything goes, walking, camping, talking, gardening, anything. Um, and uh, yeah, there's no flowers in this ages. She's not keen on that yet. Well, she, no, she, she is keen on it, but she has nothing to do with it. Uh, this is her 40. Gladio, gla Take two. Gladioli. It's me trying to be too clean. So clever. So, thank you Mark, we're going to use that, uh, that brush, and we're going to use Boots Shaving si Stick. Um, shaving soap, it comes in a stick like that and it comes in a bowl. It's the same soap. I'm going to lather by applying to the face, to the bristle. Um, so let's get on with it. I just wet my face. So oh, yeah, hope you've had a good week. I'm going to cheat, I've got a little towel on the side, I'll use that one in a minute. Um, I hope you've had a good week and some good shaves. Uh, as I say, this other channel, um, you may like it, you may not, so have a look. And if you don't like it, don't worry at all, I understand. As it's nothing to do with shaving and um, at all. Uh, but I know a few of you have come over there and found it and, um, and the reason I've never mentioned it before is, uh, it, well, it's got nothing to do with shaving so I didn't think there'd be any any sort of, um, just dip that under the water. Interesting it from this side but as I say, a few of you have come over and stayed and enjoy it, so 
Thank you so much. Well, uh, right, now this is, I don't normally shave with a badger brush, usually. Um, let me shake it out. But we're going to try it. Oh, it feels nice too. The Paul H. Films brush. And as you can see, this soap doesn't take a lot, but you get a damn good lather. Um, this brush, brand new, I've not run it in, I've not lathered it up several times before. It's straight out of the box, really. And there is a slight taint to the brush, like a wet, you know, like a boar badger, that damp smell but not strong at all, the soap is coming through and it's a really nice brush uh, feels much softer on the face when it's in motion and that's good enough lather that look at that there we go so off we go <laughs> Uh, look forward to these little chats we have. You ready? Okay. Very light razor this. And again, I'm adding no pressure. You can imagine, I'm just gliding over the top. This blade's been used once. Good. Um, in regards to this shaving soap, it's a good standard shaving soap. Um, not expensive. Uh, standard scent, just a normal soap scent. And it does the job. Does the job and lasts and lasts and lasts. Um, this raise is lovely. Not aggressive at all. Um, you can, as most razors, you can feel the blade, but it's not aggressive at all. It's just lovely. In, yeah, the soap, the only trouble we have, or I find locally, within a few mile radius of uh, here, when I go to a boots shop, chemist, when I go to the stores, you can go into one, it can be a huge store, and it can have the shaving soap sticks, the shaving soap in a bowl, it can have uh, Wilkinson soap brushes, it can have the the um, all sorts of shaving stuff and you might not buy them, you think oh no I'm okay I've got them I can go into another store and they haven't got any stock in so it does depend where you go, what I'll say is if you see it, buy it If you want to, I mean, I'm not, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. <laughs> I'm just wet the face. I'm going to try this now, back, without going back to the, look at this. Have a snifter. Not bad, you can smell the badger a bit, can you? That's, that's a good, that's a very mild scent of badger dampness, as I call it. Um, to think it's brand new, I am going to add more actually, wet the soap. Just two little discs, that's enough. 
you might think, what's he doing? You watch this space. A bit more water on the brush, actually. That's it. And then she explodes, and. Now, what I will say is. Usually, I would soak, um, clean the brush, and because uh, it's new, clean it, and sort of lather up with it, with different soaps to take away this the badger damp smell. But I've not done it with this, and it's not a bad smell at all. Um, I just wanted to, I don't want to use it too much because I'm going to keep this brush. Uh, that's why I'm not sort of over, over using it. I'm going to use it now and again. There we go. Look at that. Now it's just adding a bit more soap to the face and a bit of a dip in water. We're ready for the second pass. Lovely. Enjoying this. <laughs> These sort of uh, standard using products that they're, they're great you know they, they work so well and that's why they're around today short strokes seem to work best oh you can't beat a good shade And a nice chat. Yeah. Oh, we got a loose one there, haven't it? I tell you, this soap, when you get it lathered up, oh look at that, always a difficult part, bit that. When you lather this soap up, it gets to a good thickness, you know, and the, you know, the more you, more soap you add and the longer you lather it, the thicker and creamier it gets. It's, uh, and as I say, for the price, it's well worth it. The performance and longevity is fantastic. Now we'll do a slickness test in a minute. That's lovely. Mm, very nice. Right, we'll do a bit of a slickness test. Let's see how that see how that is. Yeah, it's slick, but it's there is it's not as slick as a lot of soaps. It doesn't leave a lot of slickness, but it's it's good enough just to go lightly. Um, but not as slick as some. But I'm not I'm not I wouldn't, I wouldn't lower the marks for it because of that, because you're not supposed to really. Um, no, it needs a bit more good brush this, you see, it's soaking up the... <laughs> In fact, I'm going to wet the brush, and for the last one I'm going to go to the soap and gather. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to mark it down because of the lack of slickness, because really, you're not supposed for the price of it. Um, it is good enough as it is. 
There we go. That's always how my father used to do it. And that will do. Nice smell. Hmm? It's quite a pleasant soap. Quite a pleasant smell. Now watch this. Water. Dip. In. Boom. I explode. Beautiful brush. Beautiful brush. Right. Are we ready for the third and final? Which is... Down here. Talk about that. Rinse the razor down this side. Um, what are you going to say? Uh, weather wise, we've had some very hot weather last week. Much cooler now this week and uh, much easier to work in <laughs> because we're not used to it. It's not, it's not so much the heat, it's the humidity uh, which comes with it. Very manoeuvrability, okay, big word, is fantastic on this. The manoeuvrability is so it's so light, you can just do what you want to. On the Adam's apple there. Although it's not Adam's apple, it's mine. Very lightly. Slickness feels better, actually, on this third pass, because the more you've added, as the soap is added, you know, after each pass, it does get better, so just in the beginning it doesn't leave a lot of a layer. Nice then, isn't it? Purple and white and green stalks. I know they're not probably called stalks. I'm Paul H, not Alan Titchmarsh. Who, by the way, if you're from not the UK, if you're from out of the UK, uh, Alan Titchmarsh is a professional gardener, does a lot of television. Lovely. Any pick up or slight pickups? Slight pickups. That's lovely now. I think it's lovely.
I've just over shaved my moustache area and I don't know that through pain I know that through a little red dot but they won't last just water the neck Double chins, we're back on eBay and Amazon, but they sold out within 48 hours. Here, yeah, I'm not happy with that, so. Only lightly, there's a bit there too. Perfect, perfect. Very happy. Right, we'll rinse off. And see what other wonders we're using. We're going to have a bit of Thayers and we're having the lavender today. A very relaxed, chilled out shade, but very special with the brush and the very nice that Paul H brush. Uh, I did put a picture of it on Instagram. Smell that, it's lovely that. Hey, eh? that's lovely. Oh, a bit of a. Uh, she's a bit of a vicious one, this one. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. What should we use today? Um, I got two sort of moisturising creams I've put, but I'm going to use one of them, obviously. Uh, I'm going to go for the Alpa Clove today. Cologne. Bit of a tingle. Oh, that's lovely. Smell that. Go on. Hey, hey. Cloves. If you don't like clove, you won't like a bit. It's a nice clove. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Bought that from and bought that from. I bought that from Steve Farragher, and I think we'll go with this one today. Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm. May as well stick to the same one, same uh, same firm. I don't need a lot of this. Just uh, too much there probably. But um, let's get some in my hands. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. Fresh woody scent. And it's overpowered the clove a bit, so what I'll do is we'll add a bit more clove later on. If I remember. Uh, that's lovely. Very nice. And that's it. Um, I have tried last time to keep the video because I noticed they were creeping up to half an hour and I know a lot of people say oh don't worry the longer the better thank you so much but um, I also know that people have got lives to live you know just <laughs> not watching me for hours on end um, I think that's a oh, oh that's yeah beautiful look at that very clean fluff everywhere 
very clean very nice very happy so Merca 45 Merca Bakelite red and black uh, small light non-adjustable beautiful mid-range aggression lovely razor very nice use the um, Gillette 7 o'clock um, sh sharp edge which was used once lovely customized brush Paul H films um, you wood the wood hand the wood is you and it's uh, a badger knot and it's beautifully built and it's got as I say that channel it's got that channel there and it's got hot and spicy vlog there it's fantastic so I'm using it now to show everybody I'm going to rinse this thoroughly dry it properly and it'll be kept nicely um, I will use it now and again uh, but I don't use it too much if you understand what I mean so thank you Mark now we use the boots shaving soap shaving stick fantastic stuff and when I we written stuff we water and they use the Thayer's which hazel lavender that's fantastic stuff and the Alpa clove cologne lovely and then to put the moisture back I use this uh, boots um, freshwood aftershave balm that seems to be available in all boots shops and along with a freshwood aftershave which I've also got they've got a green one which is an electric pre-shave I've used it as an aftershave it's a lovely scent um, bay rum I've got the bay rum there that's nice so uh, yeah take a look at boots when you go I should be paid by boots <laughs> um, and that is it that is the midweek shave and bloody oh my and I'm glad you came to watch this video, so thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of this week. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. Have some great shaves, look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the weekend for the weekend shave.